Well, we're gonna mad lib everything now? Yeah, pretty much. Uh -oh. So as the show progresses, we'll get better and better at recognize right. what we like, what we don't. All right, welcome to the first episode of Yeehaw Frosty Mug. Yeehaw. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be reviewing root beers today. Uh, we've got uh, Red Arrow, which is a root beer from Michigan. And we also got uh, Bedford's Root Beer, which from, uh, actually, this one is somewhat local, Port Angeles, Washington. We're in Gig Harbor, Washington, so not really close, but it's in Washington, so kind of a, a home a home brewed root beer. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get right in this. Uh, the reason we like root beers is it's one of those things, kind of like wine, it's, it's typically made the same way, but there are so many different things that go into it. You can really create your own. So every single root beer really has a distinct flavor. Uh, most of the time, the most common ingredients are uh, vanilla, wintergreen, cherry tree bark, licorice root, sarsaparilla root, nutmeg, uh, acacia, anise, molasses, uh, cinnamon, and I'm reading this right now just so I hit them all, uh, sweet birch and honey. Uh, soybean protein is sometimes used, and then uh, caramel to get the, uh, uh, the, the coloring inside of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and open these up. Let me try the red arrow first. This thing is half bent too. All right, I'm gonna have to get some pliers to bend that out a little bit. Can I see that for a second? Hold on. A Maybe second. I can help. You got your uh, your jackhammer, Dad? Still not. Dang it. Dad, doesn't that have an, another side to it? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm. Clearly not even using the right side. I don't even think you're ready. One thing with root beer is you want to always make sure you get a good head on it, which this does not have a head at all. All right, so good. Try the. Try the <laughs> 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 inhale deep. I inhaled too far. Too far, too sweet. All right, not too bad. It goes down really, really smooth. It doesn't have, not like a real strong carbonation, kind of like a mug or A&W, where the carbonation like really hits you. It's real basic. Uh, real basic. There's nothing. Nothing really coming out. It's a little on the sweet side at the back end too. I'm trying to place that. Do you taste that at the very end? Yeah. Like the, the initial hit is you get that strong, just basic root beer flavor. Mm -hmm. And then at the back end of it, it gets really sweet. It's just sweet all the way through. Just really basic root beer. Nothing too special. I am disappointed. It's not too bad. Like, nothing's really popping out to me on this one. Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> ah. That was still good. Not bad. Alright, All right, so we're going to move on to the next one. Uh, this is the Bedford's Root Beer. And this one actually has pure cane sugar in it. Let's see what this one has in it. <clears throat> uh, cane sugar also, so that's usually a little bit better. I think all root beers have cane sugar, Dad. Uh, some of them will go with corn syrup. Mm. All right, open this one up with the actual right side of the... All right. And neither one of these are forming a head at all. Mm -hmm. Could be the fact that we're, I mean, these mugs were frozen when I pulled them out just a few minutes ago, and now they're not. Mm. That one definitely has a much, much different smell fresh out of the bottle. It's like licorice, I'd say. That one is definitely, yeah, definitely more licorice on the smell. A lot of carbonation on it. Hard to taste. Now see that one is definitely. Would you get more cherry out of that? Mm, say light cherry and a little bit 
vanilla embracing the other flavors a bit too much. A little bit of licorice. Yeah. See which one are you liking? I think I'm leaning towards the Bedford's. Mm, Bedford. Bedford, yeah. It has a lot more flavor to it. The uh, Bedford has a lot more carbonation in it. A little yeah, bit more definitely flavor. Definitely a lot more carbonation. <clears throat> mm. Try to reset my palate so I can actually. Real licorice I'd say. It's the best. On that one? Yeah, I'd say a bit licorice. Trying to pick that scent. Definitely sweeter berry. I like that. Wait a minute. Mm. That is still flat. Yeah, that red arrow. I just red. that one comes across really flat and a little syrupy actually. Mm. Um, red arrow really falls flat. Really shoots downward. Yeah, I don't know that that one. Yeah, that one goes real flat. Mm -hmm. In this one, you can definitely see the bubbles as you move it around the glass. That one, you're not getting much of anything. No. Say so Bedford was the best one of the today. Definitely Bedford's out of the two of these. I'm yeah. trying to think of what else is coming out of that. Maybe a, I don't know. Definitely sweeter. I'm not getting too much wintergreen in that. I've tasted some where it almost tastes like bubble gum because of the wintergreen comes out. Mm. I'd say real licorice vanilla. Those are the two main things I'm seeing. Definitely more of a... Yeah, I definitely get a sweeter taste out of that one. All right, so that's pretty much it. I think it's coming down to the Bedford on this one. I don't know that we have any type of rating system with this review show. I think as episodes go on, we'll try to develop something, come out, uh, and then we'll start to rate, and we'll definitely list every single one that we've tried over time. Uh, what else do you think we should do with it? Uh, I'd say get more creative with it. Definitely get more creative with it. I'm still trying to pick what... It, it. All right, Sherlock Holmes, it's time to put the case down. Come on. <laughs> we'll figure that one out, but the Bedford's definitely on top, and we'll be back for episode two real soon.